Well, 58 million sheep get a hair cut or two in this country every year. They're most likely getting the chop from Māori who make up half of the workforce in the $750 million wool industry. And this week, reporter Yvonne Tahana met a gun sharer on the way to achieving touch wool. Yes, I said that. One of his dreams early next year. I just want to make you sweat. This shearer doesn't mind playing the goat, even if he's gearing up for a crack at the world record. The record that's there now is uh, 721, and um, I've got nine hours to share 722. A lot of it's composure. You want to be fast and clean. He'll need to clip at a rate of one sheep every 45 seconds. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how fast he'll have to move. Well, there's only four other people that have done it. Oh, you make it look good, steak. Competitive sharing's changing the industry, where once it was a case of... Drink hard, cheer hard. Now, guys like Stacey are committing to elite programs. CrossFit consists of uh, aerobic exercise, resistant training, cardio work, all of that rolled into one, ex one workout. And um, pretty much, as you can see with the shearers at the back, that's pretty much what we're doing all day. You, you know, you're, you're on your tippy toes, you're using your arms, you're using your back, your legs, and, and it's definitely a cardio workout, especially when it gets really hot. That pushes you to the boundaries. Right? You're, sometimes you're spewing up at the end. Yeah. Surfing's also part of the training, although not this day. As you can see, the southerlies up. Stacy comes from a shearing whānau. His sister's a world champion and he grew up in wool sheds. My old man was a shearer and I always used to go to work with him and just muck around in the sheds with him and you know, be up there healing or something while he's working and he'd just tell us what time to come back and we'd come back with a sack full of eels. It's a job which has taken him all over the show. So I live in Australia now, over in Bathurst, um, mainly because there's more work over there and we get paid a lot more. I've been to Italy once and um, yeah, that was fun. They got a lot of homemade red wine there and, and uh, sheep cheese, which isn't very nice. Went to Scotland a couple of times. That was pretty much eight weeks flat out. Been over to England. 95% of the shearers are professional these days and we make some really good coin. We buy houses and farms and travel the world and, and have a good time. And it's a really good lifestyle. I think a lot of young people should should have a go at it. Why do you share? I mean, do you love it? I mean, what, what is it about sharing that keeps you going? It's 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 work in progress. Like you're you're always a learner. It's a team environment, and I really like that. When everything works together all day, you know, and all week, all month. It's brilliant. Still, there are some who just shouldn't be trusted with the clippers. So, Yvonne, yep. uh, when you're holding the handpiece, you want your thumb out here so you've got more control. And then you run your blow from A to B. Yep, okay. You're cutting the farmer's profits in half an hour. Oh, yeah, true. They're all gone. <laughs> Stacy's record mob will look something like this. Will he get them through the gate? He reckons he will. 722. It's on, January 22nd. All right.